it's a binge compilation of this variety. Did I do that right? I think I did that right. <laughs> did you miss me, humans? Now let's party like it was 2019 all over again. Whoa, this is weird. What's weird? This SCP. What is an SCP? It's a community of people who make like these weird creatures that defy the laws of nature. Such as what? Well, one, one of them is an eel that makes you go into insanity, and when it eats a person, it makes a liquid that makes you forget it's called SCP-3000. Wait, so you mean the Antroxia species? The, the what? Yes, it's an EDL species that does just that on a planet. Redacted. About Redacted. light years away. Can I see? Sure, just don't die. Hell yeah, I can't wait. Also, his name is Jerry, not SAP3000. Where do you people even get these names? Human Ted? Yes? This book says you humans only use 10% of your brains. Is this true? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, that explains a lot. I fear what would happen if you brought it up to 11. Human, what is that you are consuming? Oh, it's an energy drink. Why are you drinking it? Well, some people drink energy to get a boost of stamina, some drink them due to a lack of taurine, which I have, and others drink them just because. So, are they good for you? Not really, no. They have to have over 400 calories, a high amount of sugar, and contain a substance called guarana. What's guarana? It's a plant with high caffeine content that can lead to seizures, IBS, and glaucoma at high doses, just to name a few. Why do you put it in beverages, then? Because we're humans, I thought you would have figured this out by now. You know what, you're right, that's not me. Wait, where are you going, human? The store. To buy stuff. And how do you buy stuff? With money. What is... money? <sighs> Green paper with intricate designs on it. Oh, and also metal that's a circle that can be coated in copper. And that, that, that is valuable. You're right, why is money so valuable? Human, why are you burning your already perfectly edible human wheat food? For the texture and crunch! But... But why? You're burning away some of the nutritional value that your food contains. I do not see why changing the texture and adding the so-called crunch is worth the effort of lowering your nutritional intact. I don't know what to tell you, man. We humans just love our crunchy textures. Oh, for the love of all that is creep. Um, human, why is there a warning on this peanut butter saying that it contains peanuts? Peanuts are safe to eat, right? For most... People, yes, but peanuts are a common food allergy. What is an allergy? Oh, it's when our body randomly decides that something is dangerous to us. So it, so it kind of attacks it and causes your body to swell up or making it hard or impossible for people to breathe. That's horrible. Is there a cure? Not really. But if you have a reaction, you can just stab your leg with a device that administers medicine before going to see a doctor. Well, that's good. And this medicine is available cheaply, right? There, there, there is no good answer for that. Human, what, what is this? Oh, that's Thomas. He's from a children's show where vehicles talk. And what is this thing called Shed 13? Don't watch that! Your government is collapsing and everyone is screaming and killing each other! Why did I ever think this planet would contain a sensible piece of species?! Everything is on fire and all you humans care about are your social media sites and bureaucratic meetings between people with money! I guess I should have warned you about the news, huh? Yes, you should have! Oh, so you read Lovecraft literature. It, yes. Anything that's different from the real deal? Well, a bit of exaggeration here and there. Like Jane, this Shab Nigurath is more an equivalent of human soccer mom, and Bob, the Haster, just like yellow, no deeper meaning, everything else is fine. What? But, but what? Well, the race... This race is basically Amish in human culture. They haven't even got the space fair at all. So? How does this Lovecraft human know about them? Oh shit. Human, why, why are you looking at that rounded stone? <laughs> Don't worry about it, just go inside. Human, I'm very concerned. Your voice sounded different. I'm fine. Don't believe you're fine. Why is there a drop of water on your face? Don't, don't worry about it. Let's just go. Human, 
I do not understand why your science fiction always depicts spaceships fighting at insanely close range. What do you mean? I mean, even your real-world military vessels have sufficient sensor technology to fight well beyond such distances. And in space, you need not worry about a horizon interfering with those sensors. Surely a species as militaristically creative as yours would have realized that spaceships broadsiding each other at distances less than their own length is absurd. I mean, I guess, but if the ships are too far apart to see each other, how are you supposed to fit them on the screen? I mean, if you can't see what's going on, it's not very interesting, is it? That is the most intelligent and reasonable answer to any question I have ever asked you. Either that or I've gotten dumber. Human, what are you giving that child? Oh, it's a, it's a Nerf gun. You're giving a child a weapon of war? No, 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 no. It's a toy gun that fires small, near-harmless foam darts. Children use it all the time in Nerf Wars. Children simulate warfare for entertainment? Let me... let me never introduce you to video games. What's with this so-called Blorbo? Oh, it's basically a fictional character that someone really likes. Sometimes a bit... much. And what happens if they like this character too much? This... there's not a good answer. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that?! Human, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. So, I've been doing some research here and there, and I keep coming across mentions of... Neanderthals. What are they? Oh, those guys. Uh, so, uh, picture a human. Okay. Now add more muscle and hair. Okay. And then picture them living in smaller groups than you've seen humans living in, all while being shorter than us, too. Okay. And that's practically it. They were essentially another intelligent species before going extinct. Let me guess, you humans wiped them out with your aggressive nature. Actually, there's been some evidence that they and humanity interbred with each other, becoming one species instead of two. How is that even possible if the two species were separate species, plus the lack of technology to allow such hybrids to occur? Well, remember how I said Neanderthals were basically smaller and hairier humans? Yes. That's because humans and Neanderthals were very closely related to each other, to be able to have children that were able to make more children of their own. Fascinating. Now what was that part about technology allowing two separate species to have children with each other? I don't think that'd be a wise decision on my part, human. I've seen the Vaporeon meme. Human, what are you doing with our alcoholic drink? Pouring one out for the homies. The homies? Well, not everyone who can make it here tonight is here, but they still deserve a drink. So you're pouring it onto the ground? Does this have anything to do with that crabs in a bucket turn of phrase? Maybe a little, now that I think about it. Human Mark, do you know why Human David is screaming while working? Oh, he gets like that whenever something complicated turns up. Like the wiring and some major component is being stubborn. I can only assume that this is unhealthy behavior. Does it not sound like he's having what you humans would call a good time? Oh yeah, no, he isn't. He'll likely be unavailable for a while after he's done. Is there anything I can do to help him from this state of distress? No, not... Typically, just let the poor man rest. You son of a- Okay, maybe get whoever designed all this to make the electrical connections less complicated, if at the very least to save others from David's agony. Alright, I'll see what I can do. And maybe get human David the wiring layout binders. Yeah, he'd probably appreciate that. Why is your furniture covered in dirt? It's- it's dust. I just haven't cleaned up today. Today? You have to clean it every day? Why is there so much dust? It's... Dead skin? What? Humans constantly shed dead skin. The dust has just built up skin cells. Ew, ew, I need disinfectant! Ew, why is it stuck on me?! And then he died. What? where am I? Okay, let's get this start- Ooh, you're not the usual intern. What? You're hired! I'm just kidding, he's not dead. Or am I? Nah, he's okay. Okay, okay, wait. You teach combat to children. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds weird. It is weird. Why would you do that? Well, to teach them courage, responsibility, respect, and to be a good sport. Well, it's knowing self-defense ain't a bad thing, right? Well, I, I, I guess not. Wait, a good sport? 
You made sport out of the combat! What, what, what was that? Just removed watching MMA from our plan to introduce you to human culture. Human, one of your crew has been introducing herself by referring to herself as a Capricorn? Is that a species of human I should know about? Oh, no, 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 no. She was just introducing herself by her zodiac sign. See, back in ancient civilization... I'm going to stop you right there, human. This human is practicing something terribly outdated and likely a byproduct of ancient misunderstanding. People basically use the month they were born to determine their futures. Were those predictions accurate? Well, they're vague and subject to confirmation biases. Then why does she still use it? If I knew the answer, I'd tell you. And why give the month such a strange name? No, not the month so much as that. The periods were denoted by constellations. Patterns of stars we found in the sky that look like things, which we named. And this Capricorn creature is? A goat with a fish's rear end? What human hallucinated? Oh, rude. How dare you? Human, why did, why did you scold the object? I cannot understand you, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, no, I know, it's just it's just a thing I do. A lot of humans do that. Should I ask why? Well, it's nothing bad. We just like to joke a little, and instead of berating ourselves, we jokingly berate the object. It makes it feel like it's less our fault, and we can have a bit of a laugh while we pick it up and put it back. Huh. That is an unusual tactic. Excuse you. <laughs> I think I understand you humans just a bit more. Human, what what is this device? Oh, it's a it's a gun we made that shoots giant metal beams at extremely high velocity by using magnets to spin it so fast it breaks things. Ah, huh. I didn't know your species developed countermeasures against the giant space worms. Giant what now? Human, could you enlighten me on a bothersome question? Yeah, what's up? How come you have yet to reach further parts of the solar system you habit within? Well, you see, we have yet to invent the technology to personally level such distances to save time and resources. Surely your kind is doing everything they can to reach these goals, yes? Some of us are. Some? Your species is close to depleting your celestial body of resources! Where have these resources gone to, if not for inventing Planet Traversal? <sighs> it's for militaristic efforts, isn't it? Yeah... Human? Bravo. What are you consuming? Macrofish. Cheese? Wait, isn't that made of this dairy? Yeah? I thought you could not process this! Oh, gosh, the towers be damned! I want a look at cheese! How have you survived this long? Uh, I, I'm sorry, human Zachary. I need to say it myself so it seems a bit more clear. Um, okay, I guess. So not only did the bomb explode. Yes. But the scientist was caught in the explosion. Yes. And he didn't die. Yes. Instead, he became this massive, muscle-bound primitive only coming out when expressing emotion. Yeah. What? Human Mark, what is a parking lot? Is this some kind of arena? No. It's a place where we park our cars. Why, why would you think it's an arena? Because Human Todd just challenged me to fight in one and belonging to someone named a Denny. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, it is an arena. Good luck with that fight. Uh, what, what, what? All right, so let me get this straight. Go on, I'm ready to explain. Your kind has made wondrous types of food that has little to no need for additional flavors, correct? Yes. And yet many other humans decided it wasn't enough and created these condiments for anything food-related. Also, yes. To the point where many of your kind essentially drown out the flavor of the original item with much more of these items. What's your point? You humans never seem to stop astounding me with how much abuse you put into your body. That being said, would you like some hot dog with your ketchup? Human, why is this bird in the shape of a ball? What did you do? I thought it would be cured fine. And did you make three smaller ones and put it on its back? <laughs> yeah. Do you plan on doing this again? Highly likely. Did you want people to buy it? Yeah, I wanted them to buy it. Did you feel that? That's what honesty feels like. Human, what are these small rods with clouds at the end? Oh, uh, those would be cotton swabs, or more known as Q-tips. They can be used for, like, multiple things. So after what I've been seeing, humans use it to help clean their ear canals? 
explodes with a silence. Well, as much as people use Q-tips for their ears, it's actually doing more harm than good, possibly leading to earwax clogging the ears, causing hearing damage. Well, why do humans keep performing this? Feel good? It feel good. Yeah. Honestly, that answer could be used to so many things your kind does. Human. Yeah, what is it? You didn't tell me your planet had other sentient alien life forms. We don't. You're the first outer world species we've contacted. Then why is a solid several million Tarkinians and other sentient beings on your planet beneath the ocean? Wait, that that isn't the, that isn't a thing. Let me see. Oh, oh, those are crabs, scavengers of our planet. No, no, no. I cross-checked their DNA with other species I mentioned, and there is a 99.9% match rate, with only a few changes in the genes to allow for survival underwater. Well, shit. Wait, does this mean- No, this does not mean the existence of crab people. Oh man. Human? What, what do you need? I found this illustration book on your shelf. Mind telling me why you didn't say that humans could use this magic? Oh, that's a manga. A Japanese comic that's usually based off of a fiction depending on the genre. Okay, that part makes sense. But then why are 90% of the women in this book scantily clothed? Money? Uh, of course it is. Wait, before you say anything, let me introduce you to Dungeon Meshi. Good lord, this man is 90% beard and 10% panty shots. Human, what is this show? Oh, it's it's Ben 10. It's a show about this kid who found this watch that turns him into different aliens. And he uses those powers to protect the Earth from different threats. And he can only turn into 10 different species, I assume. Well, it, it, it used to be 10, but now it's like around 62. Out of a catalog of over a million. Then why is he called Ben 10? His last name's Tennyson. I swear, if he picks up my species, he better do it tastefully. Human, what, or what is this? What's, what? This. I can't see anything. The other side of it is blurry. Oh, that's, that's my glasses. Could you hand them to me? Why would you want blurry glass? Uh, to, to see better. But it's blurry. Yeah. What have you done to your eyes? Genetics. Can you pass the jalapenos? Human, what is a jalapeno? Oh, it's a pepper which developed a chemical that causes mild irritation to dissuade potential predators from eating it. And you eat this willingly. Yeah, in fact, we liked it so much, we specifically bred various peppers to create more and more of this chemical than previous generations so we can enjoy it. Right now, the hottest pepper is called Pepper X. Your species continues to confuse and frighten me. Also, I'm pretty sure this is how you defecate your own intestines out. Human, what are you trying to breed in the lab this time? Oh, well, you know, a comfortably warm support animal for those who need it. What? Basically, using a wholesome copy pasta as a good reason to help fight depression. And you sure it's not the one about Vaporeon? No, this one's about Flareon. All for it! When can I start helping? That's the spirit. Human, you have fallen face first into the thing you call a couch, and you have stayed there for two hours. Are you ill? Do you need medical attention? Mentally, yes, but I can't afford it because... American healthcare is the bitch. You're learning! You know, for a place that calls itself the land of the free, your country seems very restricted. You understand? 